Hey everyone, it's Brooke and I'm back doing another miniature painting. So this one, I think I'm going to do gold as the base color. I have a lot of gold and I just want to see how it'll turn out. So let's start by covering the canvas. All right, and I'm going to get out some air bubbles with my torch. So I'm going to actually use up the rest of the paint in the cup that I had from the pour that I did recently. So let's see how that goes. Hmm, I think I might actually leave it like that. It looks kind of cool. Yeah, I think I'm going to leave it like that and see how that goes. So, we'll watch it for a little bit, see if it changes, and then be back for a close-up. Okay, so it has been a few minutes. I don't think it's changed a lot other than the color in here has sunk into the gold. So the gold's kind of overlapping a lot. So let's go in a little closer and see if you can see it any better. So here's where the gold is overlapping the color, which is kind of a cool effect. And there's just so much detail up close for such a tiny canvas. Now one thing I'm not sure what it'll be like when it dries is the edges, because this was black gesso on the sides, the edges kind of show black. So I'm not sure if that's going to look okay when it dries, but I guess we'll just see. So thank you so much for watching, and please subscribe if you haven't already, and you'll see new videos when I post them. So I hope you enjoyed, and thank you so much for stopping by. Have a great day. So here is the dried canvas. This one was a lot of fun to do and did not come out as I expected it would initially. And it's dried really neat too. I can't really tell if I feel like it looks like, um, like a wave or a whirlpool or something like that. Kind of abstract because of the colors, but I was really excited to see how this dried. So thanks again for watching.